Good afternoon, everyone. This is Phil here at the National Weather Service office in Norman, and I'm here to give everyone a little bit of an update of what we can expect tonight with our severe weather that's expected to move in this evening. So starting off with our overall severe weather potential graphic, uh, we do have an enhanced risk of severe weather for portions of western into central Oklahoma and western North Texas with a slight risk for severe storms in extreme western Oklahoma and also areas uh, a little bit further east of I-35. And kind of what we're expecting as we move through this evening is we'll have a dry line position just to the west of our area in the Texas Panhandle and as the stronger forcing with the upper system arrives we'll see thunderstorms develop along the dry line we're expecting these storms to be a little bit more isolated in nature. Uh, the shear is definitely strong enough to see some supercells. So with that, we can expect a risk for a very large hail, uh, potentially up to the size of baseballs, strong wind gusts of 60 to 80 miles per hour, and there will be at least a low tornado risk with these storms uh, as the low level shear does increase through the evening. Areas to the south, Across portions of southwestern Oklahoma and western North Texas, we're a little bit more uncertain on just how much storm coverage we're going to see, how many storms we'll see develop. Some of the models are suggesting that this area might end up being uh, skipped altogether, but there is at least a low potential for storm development in this area. And if storms do develop, they'll be capable of all the same hazards with large hail, damaging wind gusts, and at least a low potential for tornadoes as well. And as we move later into this evening, we're expecting storms to uh, kind of congeal into a line and expand as they move eastward. And with that, uh, we'll likely see the risk for hail begin to decrease, but uh, we'll still see a risk for strong wind gusts and at least some risk for tornadoes uh, as we head into the overnight. Taking a look at our tornado risk graphic for tonight, do have a low potential for tornadoes and you can see there uh, it's mostly extending from northwestern Oklahoma associated with any supercells we might have uh, and then also extending down into uh, southern portions of the state in portions of western North Texas associated with the line of thunderstorms we expect to develop later this evening and the tornado risk will kind of decrease uh, as we head through the evening hours and overnight hours as we get east of I-35. Breaking down the thunderstorm timing, we're expecting, as I mentioned, storms will first develop in western portions of the state and move eastward overnight. So storms could develop as early as 6 p.m. across far western Oklahoma, move into central portions of the state by mid to late evening, and then be east of I-35 after midnight. And they should be completely out of uh, the area by uh, early tomorrow morning. So with all that being said, we do want to remind people of some severe weather safety tips. I know we've had a fairly active severe weather season already this month, so I know people are pretty well versed in a lot of this, but it is a good idea to have a plan in place ahead of time and make sure that you know what to do if severe weather approaches you. So things such as cleaning out your storm shelter, uh, making sure that you have flashlights and batteries available, charging your phone is a good idea as well. Uh, making sure that your weather radio is programmed and working. Uh, be sure to check your local weather forecast frequently and you know, be ready to, to act if you do receive a warning. And make sure that your family is aware of the plan and, and knows what to do. And of course, don't forget your pets. And nowadays, you know, everyone's got their cell phone close by. So you know, it's a good idea to think about all the ways that your phone can help you stay weather aware if you do have a warning that's issued for your area. There are text messaging services available, uh, numerous weather apps that will alert you, as well as you know, wireless emergency alerts and uh, texts from family and friends or social media. You know, all these things are, are ways that you can receive warnings. And it's always good to have multiple ways to receive those. So we do hope that everyone stays safe out there tonight. Make sure you do have multiple ways to receive those warnings. If you experience severe weather at your location and would like to report it to us, we'd love to hear from you. You can see our contact information listed there through phone or email, and you can also reach us on social media. Our handle is at NWSNorman. Thank you for listening.